everybody Andy here again hopefully a quick video just want to tell you about another website that I found I mean I've been uploading bits and pieces for some time now obviously on various different sites but one thing that has sort of stopped me really is that the radio shows that I've done and I've been talking about radio quite a lot recently um, but with Hastings Rock especially but now doing shows for Carnival FM and especially local music shows I've always wanted to put them up on air and people have asked about shows on, on Hastings Rock in the past and there's always been that sort of copyright issue not so much of a problem obviously with local music most of the bands being unsigned and only too happy to have their music played on the radio but it, there's still a, a sense of you know there are the odd ones in there which are copyrighted or whatever and it takes so long to get the actual permission as I said I don't think there'd ever be a problem promoting local music but I found a new website. I found it partly through talking to other people through Carnival FM and etc. etc. Um, the, the site is, is called Mixcloud. This is going to sound like a bit of an advert for it, which in some ways I suppose it is, because hopefully I'll <laughs> inspire other people to use it as well. Um, as I said, the site's called Mixcloud. It is really meant for people to do radio programs etc to and podcasts, that type of thing, as opposed to somewhere like SoundCloud, which I've put stuff up there before, Hastings Rock Shows, which I've put up before because SoundCloud is meant really to musicians for people to upload tracks which people can then either listen to or download as well and share etc um, but that only allows you as a free service to upload I think it's up to two hours worth of material at any one time so when I put Hastings rock programs local music programs I put one up and then leave it for a month take it down and put another one up so there isn't a, a regular sort of a proper store if you want you know a, a library of, of a music a library of shows that I've done but with Mixcloud it's all free and you can upload as much as you like you know the size of the files is unlimited it goes to the cloud but the other brilliant thing about it is that it's all uh, royalties it pays out royalties it pays out what we call over here PRS royalties which are performing rights societies which means that the people who write the songs or perform the songs actually get money for what you put up there they, they've got some system there's advertising on the site not for you personally but around the site which people can obviously click onto and that obviously helps pay for it also what they insist on where other sites don't as far as I'm aware is that they insist that you put a complete track listing of all the songs or by all the artists that you actually play in your show on your podcast or whatever as well and then they link that and they search that through their own you know <laughs> ways like logarithms algorithms should I say uh, and they find the tracks and then they put a link there so that people can go and buy them so there's there's a double-edged thing to that it, it, to me sort of two very good points one you can upload it and you actually name the tracks and people can hear it as well but also people can buy it and they can download it and people get money both ways as I said with the royalties as well so I've started putting stuff up there I put all my uh, Hastings Rock shows from this year the local music shows as well I'm just about to start uploading the 2011 uh, local music shows and I've got the 2010 music, local music shows or most of them on my computer as well so I can upload them I have to I'm editing out the adverts and things like that but it's enabling me to put other things out. I put a couple of interviews that I did this year with Dave Parsons from Sham 69 and Nick Van Eed from the band called The Cutting Crew um, I, which I did through Hastings Rock this year I'm going to put those up there and over time when I get the stuff from Carnival FM and the live sessions etc as well I can put those up there with the local music music shows as well and I can put as much as I like up there I can put other things up there I've put one extra Hastings Rock show which was the final hour of this year's broadcast because it was the final hour it was a different type of show uh, although it's all copyrighted music you know you've got people like Bon Jovi and Boston and Leonard Skinner and that but as I said it doesn't matter whereas that's been a fallback and you know and if you're doing that type of thing you could potentially be doing it illegally this time because of the PRS because of the fact that you know they're paying the royalties and you put the track listings that people can buy it's all above board and legal well as far as I know it isn't it appears to be so that can only be a good thing and there's lots of other radio stations etc using it so if you've got anything like that yourself I mean, I don't know, there's people who watch this who may well have things that they do, podcasts, because it doesn't have to be just uh, uh, music, it can be speech-based, it can be anything, you know, podcasts of any type, whether it be radio shows or anything like that, comedy, whatever it might be, you can put it all up there and maybe earn something for somebody else and it still be able to expose it, because it's always been a bit of a, a dilemma, it's always been a bit of a bug, bugbear for me, is that I, I, I can only put one of these shows up at a time, so people can't hear them, and that's the whole idea of doing the local 
local music stuff is to get it out there to give it exposure this is hopefully one way that I can do that now so check that out obviously I shall put a link down there and as I said if you, you know this has inspired you to do something you've got something you want to put up there and haven't found a way of doing it you can create your own radio shows I suppose at home an internet radio station or something put things out there and maybe that's an avenue maybe that's something I literally just thought of that maybe that's something I can do but I've, I've got to said in the last video I've got a few ideas bouncing around <laughs> which I may well be able to use this for now so that's that's very good a great discovery and uh, something that's solved a bit of a problem there so it's also great it's like a little you know like a show reel as they say of all those things that you've done in this type of field you know I suppose you could put YouTube videos up there just the recorded side you know if it's just a pure vlog like this an audio podcast and I know other sites are out there as well but uh, this is an unlimited service as far as I can see anyway just thought I'd let you know that it's supposed to be quickly I know it isn't so I'm going to stop now <laughs> thanks for your time I'll speak to you again soon goodbye